Alright, so I'm sure plenty of y'all are going to call me out on this. I'm supposed to be on sourcing probation, but my daughter is at cheerleading practice for an extra hour, and it's just too far to go home, to turn around and immediately come back. So, I dropped into the Goodwill, and let's see what I got. Alright, so first things first, I got this Xbox uh, 360 Fender Stratocaster for Rock Band, and it was only $2. Uh, probably worth $35 to $40. And for $2, bucks, that is a no-brainer to me. I almost didn't pick this up because I just didn't pay attention to it, but it's a wireless, uh, Dale-branded wireless keyboard and mouse, still wrapped in the plastic and... It still had, I saw it in here before, it still got the batteries in here still wrapped in plastic too, so nobody's used that. And that's going for about 30 to 35 bucks. Alrighty, so we found this, uh, what is this, a, a detector? A carbon monoxide alarm detector for $3, and it's going for 30 bucks, brand new in the pack still. So... That's a really good flip. Three into 30. We also have a... Let me get it out of the bag. Found a remote control. Cheap remote control for a dollar. For a Yamaha RAV2... Come on, focus. My phone don't like to focus. RAV283. There we go. Anyway, remote control. And it's going for upwards of $24, 25 I got this Sony 5-disc CD changer and recorder. It is a RCD-W500C. I paid $10 for it. I don't know if it's working or not. But in the store, I looked up parts comps and it's $60 plus shipping so I went ahead and got it and to top it off where'd they go I found these shoes I didn't even know shoes came in this brand Peter Millar shoes and they look brand spanking new and they cost $12.99 there's not, no, there's, there's no dirt on the bottom of these shoes at all. And the comps are close to $100 for these shoes. There you go. You can see they're $12.99. And the, man, the, the comps blew me away. Now, I got to clean all that crap off because that's what Goodwill put on there. Um, but I'm going to list them as new. There's no wear in them whatsoever. Even the laces, they're not even lace up, they're like elastic, uh, hold on tight. So, that's the big win of the day. Well, I'm back at home, guys, and I'm getting ready to pack up the few sales that I had today, but I had some big sales today. And even though I got lucky and I got to go shopping because of my daughter's extended cheerleading practice, I had one of the best sales that I've been working on for about two and a half years now. So, I'm excited to show it off to you guys. So, let's get right to it, all right? So going in order of the sales themselves, I first sold this pair of Vans tennis shoes, checkered shoes. I picked these up at Goodwill for, I think, $10. And I ended up selling them with a 10% off offer for $31.46 plus shipping. And they've only been listed since maybe Saturday. They got very popular over as soon as I listed them. Had some low ball offers, but didn't take them. And after I got about eight or nine watchers, I sent out a 10% offer and somebody snatched them up. Here, I picked up these Nike, they're like, they're golf cleats, believe it or not, soft cleats. And I got them from Ross. I'm going to clean that off before I ship them out, obviously. They're the, um, what do you call this? Stan Stefan Janowski. Anyway, I paid. I believe I paid $17 for these and they sold for $58 plus shipping. So that'll be a good penny earned. Here I bought 
one day for five dollars I bought this Nin Super uh, no Nintendo 64 controller. I didn't pay just five dollars for this. I paid five dollars for this plus this memory card that was in it. But I decided to separate the two and sell them separately. So I'm counting it as uh, 250 and 250. That hasn't sold yet, but this did today for $17.95 free shipping. I bought this pair of jeans here from Goodwill. And they were brand new wood tags. I paid up, I paid $9.99, so I paid $10 for these. But they did sell tonight. And they sold for $22 plus shipping. The $22 was an offer, another offer I sent out. I probably listed these at $24.95 or $23.95. But again, I was trying to make some sales today and it worked. Send out offers, people. And for the big one, I've already got it packed up and ready to go. So let's flip the camera back around. And I'll tell you more about it. So... This is an autographed Mario Lemieux jersey. Uh, Pittsburgh Penguins, if you don't know hockey. I found this at Goodwill, I think two and a half years ago, for $20. Originally, I just was gonna, I was just looking at it as a jersey, and then I noticed the scribbling on the back, and that really jumped out at me. I thought, for $20, bucks, i am gonna take this chance. I'm, I'm out 20 bucks if nothing else. It took me several years to get up the nerve to pay to get it authenticated, though. And I finally did. I paid another $30 to get it authenticated from UAAA. And they did great. I will tell you now, they may be small, but they are great. They do mostly auction house authentication. But they were very nice, very kind. They contacted me and walked me through the whole process, believe it or not. And they graded it as an authentic signature. So I listed this jersey for $450. And it got watchers, but no biters. And I slowly brought it down to $430, then $425, then $415. And somebody today sent me an offer for $300. And I got excited. I'm like, yes, I'm going to get rid of it. And that's a good price. And I wanted to accept it, but I noticed the buyer had zero feedback. And if you've been on eBay long enough, you know that's one of the telltale signs of a potential scammer. Especially if, since it's a zero feedback, they just opened an account, and they're bidding on a high dollar value, high dollar item. So I was a bit skittish. What I did was I decided to counter offer for two hundred and ninety nine dollars, and I explained I wanted to entice you to pay immediately. And I will ship it off tomorrow. And they did. They accepted my $299 offer and they paid immediately. And so I'll be shipping it off tomorrow as promised.
All right, so everything's packed up and ready to go. Let's see what the numbers look like. Those five items, the Nintendo 64 controller, the Vans checkered shoes, the Levi's 550s, the gray Nike golf shoes, and the Mario Lemieux jersey. I'm happy to see that thing go. All of that cost me $93.50, okay? So, $93.50, and the profit came out to be $259.62. So, $93 to profit, $259. That was a pretty good day for me, I tell you what, boys and girls. So... That's the life of a reseller. It was a pretty good day today. Got to do some really good picking, even though it was a short time frame. Made some excellent sales, and I'm happy. Very happy with the outcome. And I really appreciate everybody dropping by Two Dudes Picking to check us out and see what we pick and resell on eBay. Gary and I are so happy you came by. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and hit that bell so that you're notified next time we upload a video. Y'all, Remember, be safe out there and have fun picking.